So as you can see, I put the Red Cat telescope on the CGX mount. I started loving this telescope. So I like this telescope because it is pretty compact. It's like 2.5 pounds. If you're getting into astrophotography, it, a small telescope like this one, probably a good beginner telescope because it's easy to carry wherever you are going with it. It's pretty mobile. You can put it on the Ioptron Sky Guider, the ones that I was using in my previous videos. You don't need like a bigger mount. I'm just testing how this telescope is going to perform with longer exposures. But if you are trying to take exposures that are like two minutes, three minutes long, or even more, you don't need any go-to mount or a bigger mount. You can just use any star tracker mounts, either Ioptron or uh, Skywatcher mounts to put this telescope. So just to give you perspective, when you actually buy this telescope, the telescope won't be this long. So the cap, the front cap of it is the other way. So you have to remove the front cap, turn it back and put it this way. Inside the front cap, there is a signature bathnav mask that William Optics has. So you can actually use this as the focus mechanism. When you remove the front cap and when you place this in front of the telescope, now you can actually see the star spikes and you can focus your uh, telescope pretty well. The focuser, if you can see, it looks like almost like a DSLR lens. So it's kind of a lens and also a telescope at the same time because the way it looks. Now I put a guide scope on top of it. So this is basically a ZWO 120mm camera and this is the mini guide scope. The back of it I have a Starizona filter slider. I put a IR UV filter like a clear filter. So behind the Starizona filter slider I have a 21mm ZWO spacer and behind that I have a ZWO 071 one shot color camera. So I was able to take 50 images using the L enhanced filter of the North America Nebula which is roughly two hours data and when I stacked it here is what I got the image. So this is just a stacked image. I didn't do any processing. I downloaded the Starnet plus plus module or a process you call it. So right now it is visible under processes, all processes, Starnet. So if you are interested installing it. So go to this website called darkskies.space site starnet. Actually this gives you a lot more than just the starnet plus plus. It also makes your starnet go faster. But you will get a link of installing the starnet plus plus site module when you click on it. All you have to do is uh, download it and once you download you extract that zip file into a folder and if you go into the processes modules install modules and if you click on the search button it will actually let you select and install and once you install it you will see like restart your Pixin site and you should see under the processes a new program or a new process called Starnet. So the Starnet actually if you don't make it faster, if you don't follow the remaining steps, if you just drag this and put it on this one, here is, it takes like four minutes three or four minutes if you don't make it faster and here is
here is the file. It came out rather beautiful. I actually did not realize. And also, if you are trying to put the stars back, all you have to do is use a tool like Pixel Math, create a single expression editor, and this is the file with the stars. And you can do a minus. This is the file without the stars. And if you click OK, create new image, then it gives you the delta. So it gives you the stars. So you can put these stars back when you are done processing this file.